So today my styling rack is noticeably empty because we are actually going to be building a fall capsule wardrobe in this video. Let's get it. So I'm actually preparing to go on a trip and I am someone who is obsessed with packing. I love watching packing videos on YouTube and learning about other people and what their process is for approaching packing. I love that it's like this style challenge of being economical with your pieces as well as like being practical and comfortable while you're there, dressed appropriately and also stylish. I just love that puzzle. And I have tried over the years to hone my process in order to better solve it. And I love trying new approaches. So today, as I mentioned, the approach is going to be to approach this like it's a fall capsule. First of all, a capsule wardrobe, if you don't know, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that like go into depth about how to do it. And I definitely recommend watching some of those. But the basic idea is that you use the least number of pieces possible to create the most number of looks possible. So it's definitely wonderful if you're trying to be economical about how much you're packing. And because we're gonna fill my suitcase with options that will mix and match in a lot of different ways, it means I don't have to choose exactly how I'm gonna be styled in each and every outfit. I just need to know that I have a lot of good options in my suitcase and then I can choose on the day of exactly how I wanna style and get dressed. So I'm gonna take you through my thought process of how I'm going to create this capsule in order to pack my trip. And I do wanna style up some of the pieces that I'm using and get an idea of how everything's gonna look. I'm also using Pinterest as inspiration so I will share with you some of my fall pins and get you some more fall styling inspiration. And hopefully this kind of process is something that you could use in your day-to-day -day life whether or not you're packing for a trip or if you want to commit to a capsule wardrobe for the entire season it can be a really fun way to hone down your personal style as well as seasonal looks that you really want to create and actually limiting the number of options that you have will force you to become a lot more creative and you'll be surprised at what you can come up with all right so we're ready to do it let's get into building this fall capsule this is not necessarily like a step-by-step -step process, but there are sort of phases to it. The first phase for me when I am packing or building a capsule is, as I said, to look at Pinterest. And I'm also definitely going to be looking in my own closet. Pinterest is going to give me an idea of the aesthetic I'm trying to achieve. And it's so helpful to aim for a singular aesthetic when you're packing, because again, the pieces will mix and give you a lot more options. And then I always like to have a couple of wild card pieces that throw everything off, but we'll get to that. Among of the first things that I will do, and this tip might surprise you, I will think about what shoes I wanna pack before I think about any other types of items. I want to have a limited number of shoes. In my mind, if I start styling outfits and including shoes, I could easily get carried away with having five different pairs of shoes for only a three day trip. So I will actually start with the shoes and then I have those in mind when I'm styling the rest of my pieces. Any of those pieces have to go with my two or three pairs of shoes that I'm actually willing to bring. I don't know, maybe everybody else already does this, but to me, this is like the biggest game changer for packing efficiently was to approach it by packing my shoes first. Similarly, I might also choose my jackets early on before I start building the rest of the pieces. For this particular trip, I wanted to have at least one pair that was like a good, walking shoe and that limits me honestly to just a couple of options. I can go with either a sneaker or my Doc Martens. Believe it or not, these are one of the most comfortable walking shoes that I own. And the best part is they go with everything, but definitely gonna be a good fall staple. I can tell you for sure the one piece that I knew I absolutely wanted to bring on this trip was this suede fringe jacket that I recently thrifted and I have been dying to wear. So now I have for sure one jacket and one pair of shoes and I have in my mind a little bit of an aesthetic. It's time to go to Pinterest and start to flesh out what that's fully gonna look like. For this part of the process, feel free to pin things that really just like grab you right away and you don't know exactly why. And then what you wanna do is analyze all your pins and look at exactly what it is you like about them. So for example, if you pin this look, what is it that you like about it? Is it the top? Is it the way that it's styled? Is it the accessories that are popping out? Is it the color blocking? For me, I'm gonna show you the pins that I kind of honed it down to. I'm just really drawn to these really classic looks. Blue jeans, white t-shirt, leather jacket, combat boots. So all these like classic pieces, but I also wanted to have a bit of a grunge twist or a bit of like a boho Western twist. I don't want it to look put together. I don't want to look elegant. Like I want to look a little bit like grunge and like not 100%, a little bit less. 
going with some of that western aesthetic i pulled my brown cowboy boots and these snakeskin ankle boots between these two i feel like these are actually more comfortable and i think they're actually a little bit more versatile so i'm probably going to lean in this direction and then to go with like the classic and sort of grunge look i pulled out my converse high tops these are also again like something i can throw on that are super comfortable and walkable in walkable in walkable in don't grammar check me, I majored in English. <laughs> and then back to jackets, I also like the idea of bringing one other jacket option. And so I pulled out my denim jacket and my leather jacket. A lot of the options that I pinned did have a leather jacket, but I gotta say, I think that this is too similar to the suede jacket and that the denim jacket is like a totally different kind of vibe. So instead of like grabbing this piece that exactly matches the pins, I'm actually going to sub those types of looks with the suede fringe jacket and then I'll have the denim jacket as like a completely different option. So I'm basically leaning toward these two jackets and these three pairs of shoes. So at this point, I think I'm gonna refer back to my Pinterest board and start looking at what the basic pieces are that I'm gonna need to pull out of my closet in order to achieve these looks. So for tops, I need a plain white t-shirt, some black and white long sleeves and turtlenecks, and a white button down. For pants, I've got blue jeans, black jeans, and I'm also kind of considering these brown suede pants, but we'll have to see. Then I'm also seeing a black mini skirt. I've got the suede one, which I love. Like the faux suede is totally fitting with that aesthetic. And there's a couple kind of like slip skirts in there and I would like something a little bit nicer to wear to have that option. So I pulled this one, which is like exactly from Pinterest. This is like the Pinterest skirt in my closet. And then I pulled this black slip dress because I love wearing this underneath something, uh, like underneath sweaters and stuff. It's a good like black skirt skirt but I'll probably decide between and then for another dress option I've got this black kind of like balloon tiered dress which is just super comfy another thing to consider is how stuff will pack like if you're doing this as an actual packing exercise how stuff will hold up in your suitcase and whether or not you're gonna need to like iron things um, this one is pretty packable it will not really like wrinkle to the extent that it ruins the look of the dress all right, that's it for the bases, and I believe it or not, I am going to add more pieces, but I want to stop at this point and say I'm also going to cull this and take some away. So this is not everything I'm packing. These are the bases, and I want to like decide between some. So I've got a lot of extras right now, but that's okay because this is part of the process. Next, I'm looking at some of the other layers that I'm probably going to want. So I grabbed a sweater vest, sweatshirt, and a ski sweater. There is definitely like a look, an aesthetic, and a full color story happening here, and it's very neutral. However, I wanna bring some color in, I wanna have some personality, and for me, that means graphic tees. So I'm gonna add a few graphic tees, and hopefully that's going to bring in the color and like personality that I'm looking for, something that makes it feel like me personally. So here's what I'm considering. considering this little velour stripey tee because it fits that color and that sort of like 70s feel that I'm looking for. Okay, but obviously I have way too much. <laughs> I'm probably gonna overpack anyway, it's what I do. Before I start trying things on, like I just wanna like go through and see how many pieces like in each category I have. I've got three long sleeves, but two of them are turtlenecks. So I'm gonna have to decide between these two and I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna wait till I try it on. I have this white button up blouse and this thing does not travel the best. Um, so it's gonna be a maybe, but I do wanna look, try styling it and see if it becomes a must. I've got two different washes of blue jeans and I wanna decide between those two, but I'm gonna try them on. And I have one pair of black jeans. I think that's an essential for sure. These brown suede pants, I think they fit nicely with a lot of these pieces, but between the denim and the skirts that I have, I feel like these just don't quite make the cut. So I'm gonna pull these out now. I don't need to even style them. I think this black mini skirt is probably a go, but I've got two sort of like slip skirt options here and I wanna decide between those. I've got just one dress, 
I know technically this is a dress, but I don't wear it that way, so. <laughs> and then I've got my layers. I feel like I probably wanna bring all of those, although maybe the sweater vest could go if I really wanna be minimal. I have a lot of t-shirts and just short sleeve tops. And I'm actually gonna eliminate this one right now too because I just, I'm looking at everything, I just see that it's just not as versatile as I want it to be, so it's cut. Obviously, I've gotta call those graphic tees. I have seven right now. I definitely don't wanna bring that many, but I might bring up to four because I also will sleep in them so they get double use. So when you're creating a capsule, you can actually look up mathematically what is recommended for how many different items in like each category like how many pairs of pants do you need to do a 90-day capsule or what have you i'm definitely just estimating but i know i need to narrow it down in a couple of like specific categories here all right let's try some stuff on the first thing i will often consider if i am taking a trip where i am flying is what am i going to wear on the plane i am one of those people who gets mildly dressed up to fly I do not usually dress down you will never catch me flying in sweatpants <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking about this look which I'm just stealing directly from Pinterest and then I think I've got to pair it with my denim jacket because I don't see me wearing the fringe jacket on the airplane it's just too extra <laughs> so here's the base I'm gonna tuck in my top I like that I really like this. This I would definitely wear on the plane. I'd probably be more comfortable in pants, but it's a really strong option. And if I go this route, then I can get rid of this striped turtleneck. And I could do the stripey one with this skirt, like that would be an option, but I just, I like the plain black better. So process of elimination. <laughs> Another strategy I use is to take pictures of myself in the outfits if I try stuff on so I can remember different combinations that I like. I could wear this on the plane and if I do that, it eliminates the packing portion that would cause it to get extra wrinkled. So maybe this with my snakeskin boots and the denim jacket. This thing is already wrinkled. I don't know why I keep talking like it's not. <laughs> I think I might just like leave it untucked like that maybe. Honestly, I'm loving the boots and these jeans together. This is something I haven't combined before either. I'll tell you what I really want to do is put this jacket with a white button up. I love that idea because this is so like extra and just a totally different vibe than a crisp white button up. And there's something about that that I love. But we have strayed. Like I said, I don't want to wear this jacket on the plane. I just don't. But like, look at this. I do like this, but it is not gonna work for me on the plane, so I'm still kind of like playing around with my plane look. I'm gonna keep the jeans on and try a different top. Okay, here's my white long sleeve. The rest is the same on the bottom. I like this. Let me try my denim jacket. Here's what I'm thinking. I think I like the skirt with the turtleneck maybe a little bit better for a plane look. I also like this. I know I wanna bring these jeans. And I could also wear this long sleeve with a sweater vest over it, which I could do with the button up too, but I'm just, I'm leaning more this direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate the button up and let's just move on. Or with the blue jeans, or maybe with the mini skirt. Okay, boom, with the mini skirt. Now maybe I could do tights if I wanna be a little bit warmer and my docks. Oh, these tights are actually really comfy. This is really cute. I like this look. I still feel like the sweater vest could become like an extra layer that I just don't need, but I can also just wear this white long sleeve with it and I really like that too. And temperature wise, it might be better. All right, this is exactly why I like trying stuff on if possible before I take it because I have this pin, really love the look. I have these pieces. It's not quite the same vibe when I put it on because my turtleneck is much more of a like fitted fit. <laughs> I also keep thinking if I eliminate this and go for the black turtleneck, then I can wear that with the printed skirt and then I can eliminate this black slip dress and it kind of cascades from there. So I think I'm gonna start making some decisions like that. Okay, I still wanted to try this. I'm probably gonna eliminate both pieces, so we had to give it one last try. Wow, the static is real on this piece, oh my goodness. 
And I put it with my sneakers so I could give those a shot. I haven't pulled them out yet. So yeah, I do like this look. I think I like this with my leather jacket. So I'm just gonna like mentally save that outfit combo for another day. But I'm for now gonna take these out of my capsule. I think this mini skirt is a go for sure because I can pair it with all of the graphic tees that I'm planning to bring. Like any of those look cute with this mini skirt. And again, it gives me a short layer that if I don't wear it with tights and it's like a somehow like a super warm day, then I've got another option to go like bare legs. So actually looking at that, it kind of makes me want to eliminate this Smoky Mountains tee. It's just not in like the color scheme and vibe that I want. I think it'd be so cute with jeans and like the fringe jacket and stuff, but I just think I like a few of the other tees better. And somehow deciding the mini skirt helps me decide that. <laughs> Something else eliminated, just go with it. I love this dress. This is like an older H&M dress that I've had for a couple years and it's so comfy and wearable. Somehow it feels like simultaneously like it's like a choir or graduation robe, but also like high fashion to me, like graduation, make it fashion. I feel like one of the Olsen twins in this. Do you know what I mean? Like they're always doing the like shapeless oversized thing and like somehow it works. It's key with my snakeskin boots. I think either of these jackets would be okay. But honestly, I gotta put this in the same category as that sweater vest. Like, it's something that is like a little bit extra. If I'm trying to be lean, I would eliminate this because I have so many good separates. And this is just not as versatile. So it's going in the maybe pile. Although, like I could layer the, maybe I could layer the sweater over it, but I don't know. I just don't think it works. Like a lot of dresses I would wear if it worked as a skirt, but I don't know that this one does. Believe it or not, we are getting close. I have almost made final decisions for my personal capsule. I still have to decide which wash of denim I want, and then I need to weed down my graphic tees as well. So I think at this point, it's time for the phase I'm gonna call Try On Montage. of jeans with all my different tops. Anyway, let me show you what I actually came up with for my fall capsule pieces. Okay, as I mentioned, I have a plain white t-shirt and then I have five graphic tees. One, two, 
three, four, five. So possibly I'll eliminate one of those. For everything else, I feel like I stayed on track. I've got a pair of black jeans, a pair of blue jeans, a mini skirt, a midi skirt, a black turtleneck, a white long sleeve, a sweatshirt, a sweater, two jackets, and then my shoes and these. And for my accessories, I definitely want to grab this beanie. I liked playing with this bandana. I also enjoyed playing with my sunglasses. So I think I might bring like two pairs just to have an option. I'll have my briefcase with me and then I really just want to bring like a good crossbody that I can throw a number of things in. So this bucket bag is gonna make the cut. I know it's not super exciting and like doesn't add like a ton to the outfits, but I love this bag and it's like the perfect size. It will be amazing to travel with. But if you're making your own little like capsule for fall, I think there's no reason to limit yourself on like bags and shoes. You could pull items from your closet, like tops, dresses, and bottoms that you want to stick to. But then as far as accessorizing, you could still access like all of your shoes and bags and add a lot of different interest there. I'm most likely going to be wearing all of this on the plane. So I only have to pack this and those t-shirts. Do you think it'll fit in a carry-on? I mean, this jacket, this jacket's kind of bulky. I'm a little bit worried about that, but I'll let you know how it goes. Regardless, I had so much fun filming this and just really digging in and thinking about my packing process. I am just kind of a geek for this kind of thing. It feels like it's a really fun puzzle to solve. And I definitely recommend this sort of capsule approach if you are also packing for a trip that's longer than a week, I guess. But anyway, the great news is I have so many styling options. I actually ran out of energy to <laughs> do any more styling and try on before I ran out of combinations. So if I missed something that you wanted to see together, I'm sorry about that. Who knows, I might end up wearing it when I'm actually there. I didn't even really like necessarily pick my favorites. I just tried everything. Almost everything goes with almost everything that I'm bringing. So thanks for being here for it. I really hope you enjoyed and got some good inspiration. If you have any packing or like capsule wardrobe tips, feel free to leave them in the comments and we can chat about it. And I will see you guys again soon for a new video.